Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're out racing the sunrise this morning. I'm trying to beat some of the road noise. I've got some camps that we need to walk through. So today we're gonna walk through this S22 camp. The S meaning that it's my narrower camp size. So 88 inch interior versus my X camp, which is a 96 inch interior. This one's a 16 foot box. Um, 116 square feet interior space and then it's 22 feet from bumper to tongue so quite a bit smaller than what you're probably used to watching on the channel this one is more of an agriculture type camp not a lot of bells and whistles um, just a lot of things that are gonna perform well for a long long time so not a lot to go wrong with this one. Not that we have a lot of issues with any of our camps, but as all of you know, as you add more and more products to them, more and more electronics, um, the likelihood of something going wrong is um, increased a little bit. So anyways, I'm gonna take you around the exterior of this one, show you around, and then we'll go on the interior and see what's going on in there. So as mentioned earlier, this is a 16 foot box, 116 square feet interior space. Um, and then it's 22 feet from bumper to tongue. This one weighed in at 7,400 pounds. Um, it has the 6,000 pound axles, 16 inch rims. And then this one was upgraded to the 14 ply tires. So, and it's set up on a tandem style. A lot of these more agriculturally used camps, um, some of them will do in a wagon style. The tandems do pull a lot better at freeway speeds than what the wagon style does just due to tongue weight. Um, there's virtually no tongue weight on the wagon style ones. So, I'll walk around and show you. Each of our camps, regardless of what you get, whether you get an S model, meaning a narrower model, 88 inch interior, or you get a 96 inch interior. I construct them all the same. They're all built to the same standard, same quality. Um, nothing really changes. So this one, you've got your two 30 pound, seven gallon propane tanks. I put these covers over them just because as we do repair stuff, I see a lot of your propane pigtails and stuff rotting. So if you can keep those things out of the sun, they'll last a lot longer. So we do cover them up. Wired with your seven way plug, um, electric brakes, all of that stuff. These are a bully dog jack, a really good jack. I've had good luck with them. We do offer them in powered models also. So if that's something that you're interested in. Two and five sixteenths coupler that's adjustable heavy duty tow chains it does have like i say the electric brakes so you have your brake disconnect this has the storage below so you got your latch here this can be removed keep all your tire chocks anything that you're not worried about getting wet or being out in the elements can be stored in there as you can see i've got all our stabilizer jack handles in there stuff like that and like i say you're not too worried about got our split dutch door on the front i get i get some comments when i say split dutch door because what other kind of dutch door would you have but just habit i guess of how, what i say but all dot compliant all of your marker lights everything that way we just received our compliance sticker to send them to canada so we're now compliant to send them that way and we look forward to working with a lot of you from Canada. So 
These are our fridge vents, wood box door. This is a air intake setup for the wood burning stove inside. So all of the fresh air or combustible air is brought from the outside of the trailer versus the inside. So you don't have to worry about using up all of your oxygen in there. Stabilizer jacks on all four corners. You have an oversprung suspension system. So lots and lots of clearance in this. If you can get your truck there, you can get the trailer there. Um, this thing's got tons of clearance. You're probably about, I don't have a tape measure with me, but I would dang, I bet you're probably close to 30 inches to the bottom of your frame. So I think I've mentioned the wood box door. This feeds all the way through. So you can keep all your wood, kindling, everything that way here, nice and tidy. You don't have to go outside to get any of it. So these have the double seal on them. So you've got a bulb seal on the inside. And then you also have a seal on this exterior lip. And then these latches will pull that in, suck that in tight to where it seals really nice. They did upgrade this one. Um, generally, I'll just do 100 watt panel on these with two six volt batteries. They upgraded to where they did an extra solar panel and then also added two more six volt batteries. So they should have tons and tons of uh, both storage as well as solar um, to run everything in this one without any issues. Not a lot, a lot of electronics in this one. Does have your receiver on the back, two inch receiver wired with a seven way plug also to where if you do pull tandem or anything, it's set up to where you can do so. In the back here, we just have storage. So, kind of dirty. You've got your battery set up and then you've got your battery disconnect and your solar controller there. So everything's kind of tucked away, but lots of storage in these style camps where they don't get side doors and stuff that way. It keeps that whole compartment back there um, really accessible. And then also on this one, and you'll see when we go to the inside, I've got my water fill station out here. This one does have a hand pump, so no water pump, no water heater or anything like that in this one. Um, just a 42 gallon fresh water tank with a hand pump so that they can keep everything. They can fill it up from the outside and then just pump it on the interior. You have your drop down spare. This one's got a crank, same as what your stabilizer jacks are as far as the size of it. So just a drop down, just like it would be on your truck. Drop your spare down and away you go. I think that pretty well wraps up the exterior on this one. So we'll go ahead and go inside and check out the interior. So I've had a couple customers here this week that have come in this one after walking into this 28 foot box one. And they're all shocked at how roomy this is. For being as small of a camp as it is, it definitely doesn't lack anything as far as space. Um, very well thought out. This is a traditional layout. This is what you would see in most agriculture camps is this layout with the trundle bed, the upper bed, the pullout table. But it's actually, it surprises you how roomy it is um, despite being that small, so. Colors in this one, we have Brazil wood cabinets. So these are a naughty alder and then finished in a Brazil wood stain. Lots of character in these ones. You get these lighter colors and then you really can see the character, the knots, some of that stuff. This is a white cypress wall. Really bright. Lots of natural light. And then you have oiled soapstone countertops. And the flooring is a French oak. 
So as you can see though, probably one of the first things that you'll notice in this one, no bathroom or anything. Like I say, this one's pretty, pretty bare bones in how it's set up. Um, but, but the goal with this one is, yeah, long-term use, not a lot of issues kind of thing. So we've got a small three cubic foot fridge. This is a propane or electric fridge. And this is an option in all of our camps. I mean, those of you that have followed the channel for a while know that all of our camps are custom. You build it how you want it. Um, and yeah, the sky's the limit. So little, little fridge, counter space. You got your stainless steel range. Some overhead storage. And these are all gas struts, soft close hinges everything nice and tidy you've got a little drawer underneath the range um, to keep pots pans everything needed there you have our wood stove burning this is the second time that i burned it burning paints and oils and everything off of it before the customer comes to get it this is a game changer this one will be the only source of heat aside from a propane light that's in this one so no furnace nothing that way so this will be the only source or primary source of heat in this camp all your stainless steel backsplash keeps everything to where it's nice and clean and you've got two 48 inch windows with screens that open Lots of storage down below. This is the wood box that I showed you from the outside. So it just sits right below that wood stove so you can keep all your wood and everything. You got storage below your benches. These bench lids lift up. Suit boxes under there. On this side is where the fresh water storage is. So you've got your fresh water tank, drain valve, everything there and then you have storage below and maybe i'll set my camera up and everything and i can show you how that trundle bed comes out um, as well as the kitchen table kitchen table is nice and stored away and this one has the full mattress and we can do these like i say where all of these camps are custom However you want to set it up, whatever size mattress is, that's not a big deal. So full size mattress up top. There's a queen or a twin size mattress in the trundle bed. And there is some storage on the front of it. But I'll set the camera up. I'll pull the cushions off of here and I'll show you how that trundle bed pulls out. Once you've removed the cushions, this trundle bed's just latched on both sides. So you can undo these bunk latches. And then just grab this thing and pull it out. So and when we do these two, I build them to the same specs as what the upper bed is. That way, regardless of what mattress you want to put in here, um, I still can give you the most use of that space possible. Because I could build this just strictly for a twin size mattress but then you have like eight inches of useless space so I still give that to you to where if you need to you can tuck blankets or whatever in that extra space um, sleeping bags still can store what you need to so anyways that's a look at that trundle bed really nice for you know Having someone else stay with you or using it as storage, keeping a blow up mattress in there in case you need it. Um, all sorts of things that you can do with it. So that's a look at that. Headboard, bookshelf. This one does, they did add the fantastic fan to it. So nice ventilation fan, circulate air in and out. Makes it really nice. Their overhead storage, they had us do the doors on the back here so that they can keep all of their stuff in there. And then added this other one at the foot. You've 
We've got a little pull-out countertop here. Just give you some more counter space. We got a row of drawers. These are all dovetail drawers. And they're on slides that catch, so when they come in, they latch. Silverware tip out. And then just some storage below. This one's got a fairly good size single stainless steel sink. And then like I told you on the exterior, this one does have the hand pump. So as you pump it, take a minute to prime and they'll just pump everything. This one does drain onto the ground, so no holding tanks, nothing like that. Really, the only tank is just that fresh water tank. Overhead storage. This is the propane light that I was talking about, and you might have been wondering why I would refer to that as providing heat, but it actually does put off quite a bit of heat to where it takes the chill off in them early spring days or early fall days. have rows of drawers below and then their big closet space up here the closet rod that's an overall look at this one though um, turned out really nice I like the color combinations very bright not a lot of light needed as you can see, really there's not a lot of light even in this one. Um, and so to have those four six volt batteries as well as the two solar panels, they should be able to go for days on end without any issues in this thing. So anyways, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this one. Um, leave them in the comments and stay tuned for the next one. I know I told those of you that have been watching the channel that I had that big one coming up next. I'm going to hold off for another week. I had some trim and stuff that I needed to get finished on it. And then a few other things that I was waiting on. So I didn't want to show it to you until it was complete. So I'm going to hold off till next week for it.